Let's look at Cisco Extended Access Control Lists. So Extended Access Control Lists give you a little bit more than just our um, layer three IP addresses. It lets you set protocols as well, which is why it's extended. So if we look at our diagram here, let's assume, for example, this PC keeps trying to log into the Portland router. And it's just guessing passwords, and it's doing a pretty good job just hitting it constantly all day long, and the Portland router decides it's done with this. It doesn't want it. So you can see right here, we can do telnet 172.16.0.1. Try it and we try a password, a password, a password, and it gets much bad passwords and it fails. And so then it tries again and again and again. So, how do we block that? Well, let's jump into the Portland router. Portland router is now going to configure an access list. So, we first we enable and we go to our configuration terminal to a global configuration mode and we first need to create our access list. So we use that, do that with the access list command. We do a question mark to see what our options are and the extended access lists are 100 through 199. So we're gonna pick 100. And then what do we want? We want to deny, deny. And we get to decide what we want to deny. So we want to deny TCP connections from this machine. So TCP, and we want our source address right here. And we can pick an individual source with the host word, or we can do this source right here and give it a, a wildcard mask as well. Let's just go ahead and do a wildcard mask just for the fun of it. So it's a 172.16.0.2, question mark, you can see the wildcard mask. The wildcard mask, um, let's just say we don't want anybody in that network to be connecting to us. So we can do the mask of a 0 .0 0 0.0.0.255. It's kind of like the exact opposite of the network mask. The wildcard basically swap all your ones and zeros, and there you go. That's the source. Now the destination, well, would be our router itself. So we can do host and 172 dot 16 dot zero dot one and then we get to decide which port number so eq or equals port number and we're coming in on telnet so eq question mark and telnet is listed right in here it should be 23 um although i guess they're probably alphabetical instead of numbers so you can see telnet's 23 i can either use the word Telnet, or I can use the number 23. So I'll go ahead and dive in tell well, 23, because you'll see it automatically changes it. And that denies it. And then we can decide, well, we want all the rest of the traffic to get through. Everything that's not Telnet, we want to allow. So we can add another line to our access list. Access one, and we want to permit. And we want to just permit any host and actually it's not one, it's one, 100. That's why it's weird. Permit, and we want to pick our protocol, which is IP, so anything IP, and we want any, from any source to any destination. Now we have our access list created. Connect it out, we can show our running configuration, and we can see that we have this access list right here. All right, and you can see the 23 got changed into Telnet. And now we want to go ahead and make sure this person didn't guess the uh, password. But we want to go in and configure it on the interface. So if we look back at the diagram, we can see that the incoming inbound interface is fast ethernet zero, zero, and it's inbound traffic we'll worry about. Traffic coming into the router from the outside. So we're gonna go configure that. Um, right there on zero zero inbound. So we do comp t. We do in f eight zero slash zero, and we assign the access list to the interface using the access 
group. Type the access group command. An access group 100, and we want to do inbound, so in. At this point, we should be able to go over to our machine and try telling in. And suddenly, instead of getting this thing where it prompts us for a password, we are denied access. Which is a good sign. That means that the firewall has successfully blocked us from going into Telnet. And we're just sitting there stuck. And that's good. If someone's trying to hack us, well, they can't do it. If we try ping, 172.16.0.1, we can see that the ping still gets through because it is not TCP port 23. So all we have blocked is our TCP port 23 and everything else is getting through. And that's how you set up an extended access control list.